Good evening. This is All India Radio. I am Naresh Mago and with me is Reshma Tiwari with the evening news. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addresses seminar of leaders of various cooperative institutions in Gandhinagar. Says solution to most of our problems is self-reliance and a great model of self-reliance is cooperatives. Nano urea liquid plant of IFCO at Kalol in Gujarat inaugurated by Prime Minister. 89th episode of monthly radio program Man Ki Baat to be aired on All India Radio tomorrow. Prime Minister to share his thoughts with Indians all over the world. President Ramnath Kovind calls upon citizens to stay in touch with nature to stay healthier. Road, Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari dedicates 20 Amrit Sarovars to the nation in Akola in Maharashtra. Sports Minister Anurag Thakur says Prime Minister Modi has convinced the world of the importance of yog, which is now a global phenomenon. India gives tremendous confidence to its citizens who are staying abroad during any crisis, says External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar. Nation remembers great nationalist and freedom fighter Vinayak Damodar Savarkar on his birth anniversary. Narcotics Control Bureau busts major pan-India heroin trafficking network, seizes 34.89 kilograms of heroin and arrests eight drug peddlers along with a Nigerian drug lord. India's foremost documentary film festival MIFF 2022 begins tomorrow in Mumbai. In Asia Cup Hockey Tournament, India beat Japan 2-1 in their first match of the Super 4 stage in Indonesia. Indian tennis star Rohan Bopanna and his Dutch partner Matve Middelkop storm into quarterfinals of French Open men's doubles. And in IPL, Rajasthan Royals to face debutant Gujarat Titans in Summit Clash at Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad tomorrow evening. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that we are moving forward in the direction of a model cooperative village. Addressing the Sahakar Samelan on Sahakar Se Samridhi at Mahatma Mandir in Gandhinagar in Gujarat this evening, he said that six villages of Gujarat have been earmarked where cooperative arrangements will be completely made available. Mr. Modi expressed happiness over the inauguration of the nano urea liquid plant of IFCO at Kalol. He said that power in a sack of urea has now been compressed into a bottle. This will reduce the transportation costs and benefit small farmers. This plant has a capacity of manufacturing 1.5 lakh bottles per day, but eight more such plants will be established in India in the coming days. Urea ki bori ki taakar ek bottle mein sama gai hai. Yani nano urea ki aadha liter bottle kisaan ki ek bori urea ki jarurut ko pura karegi. Ye jo aadhunik plant कलोल में लगा है इसकी कैपेसिटी अभी डेढ़ लाख बोतल के उत्पादन की है लेकिन आने वाले समय में ऐसे आठ और प्लांट देश में लगने वाले हैं इससे यूरिया पर विदेशी निर्भरता कम होगी देश का पैसा भी बचेगा Mr Modi said that after coming to power in 2014 the government brought in 100% neem coating of urea this ensured that the farmers of the country got enough urea. He said that the government has started the work of restarting five closed fertilizer factories in UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and Telangana simultaneously. Prime Minister Modi said that the solution to most of our problems is self-reliance and a great model of self-reliance is our cooperative. Mr Modi said that the government has worked to find permanent solutions to various problems in the last eight years. बीते आठ सालों में हमने तात्कालिक उपाय भी किए हैं और समस्याओं के स्थाई समाधान भी खोजे हैं कोरोना महामारी जैसी परिस्थितियां भविष्य में ना बने इसके लिए हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पर फोकस किया जा रहा है खाद्य तेल की समस्या कम से कम हो इसके लिए मिशन ऑयल पाम पर काम चल रहा है कच्चे तेल पर विदेशी निर्भरता कम करनी है इसके लिए बायोफ्यूअल ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन और दूसरे उपायों पर आज बड़े स्तर पर प्रयास चल रहा है नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी पर व्यापक निवेश भी इसी अप्रोच का परिणाम है इसी प्रकार प्राकृतिक खेती की तरफ 
किसानों को प्रोत्साहन देने के लिए जो अभियान देश में चल रहा है वो भी परमानेंट सोल्यूशन का हिस्सा है The Prime Minister said that Gujarat was also fortunate in getting the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi and Sardar Patel. He said that the example of the cooperative model of dairy sector is before us. He said that today India is the largest milk producer in the world in which Gujarat has a major share. He said that government plays the role of just a facilitator in the dairy sector and the rest is done by cooperatives or farmers. He reiterated that the effort is to encourage cooperative based economic model in the country. Sathiyo, sabka saath, sabka vikas, sabka vishwas aur sabka prayas. Is mantra par hum chal rahe hai, ye mantra apne aap mein sahakar ki atma hi hai, sahakar ki simao ke andar hi hai ye mantra. Is liye sahakar ki spirit ko aadhaadi ke amrit kaal ki spirit se jodne ke liye हम निरंतर आगे बढ़ रहे हैं इसी उद्देश्य के साथ केंद्र में सहकारिता के लिए अलग मंत्रालय का गठन किया गया और कोशिश यही है कि देश में सहकारिता आधारित आर्थिक मॉडल को प्रोत्साहित किया जाए मिस्टर मोदी सेड दैट द बिगेस्ट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अ कोऑपरेटिव इज ट्रस्ट एंड कोऑपरेशन ही सेड दैट स्मॉल फार्मर्स आर बीइंग एंपावर्ड टुडे एंड सिमिलरली MSMEs are being made a strong part of India's self-reliant supply chain. Speaking on the occasion, Union Home and Cooperative Minister Amit Shah said that the nano urea liquid plant of IFCO inaugurated by the Prime Minister will save our land and water. Mr Shah said that Prime Minister Modi has started the Ministry of Cooperation which will boost the cooperative sectors across the nation. मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में करीब करीब एक साल पहले एक क्रांतिकारी कदम लिया कि सहकारिता मंत्रालय की रचना भारत सरकार में एक कदम कहने को तो एक मंत्रालय की रचना का है मगर देश के करोड़ों किसान और सहकारिता आंदोलन के सभी कार्यकर्ता जानते हैं कि ये कदम आने वाले सौ साल तक सहकारिता आंदोलन को नया जीवन देने वाला है उसमें प्राण फूंकने वाला है Gujarat Chief Minister Bhupendra Patel also addressed the function. AIR Ahmedabad correspondent reports that a simultaneous function was organized at Kalol IFCO plant. Earlier, Prime Minister Modi inaugurated the newly built Matushri KDP Multi-Speciality Hospital at Artcourt near Rajkot in Gujarat. Addressing a gathering of people at Artcourt, the Prime Minister said his government has completed 8 years during which they have worked for poor people with good governance and sabka saath. सबका विकास मुझे खुशी है कि आज यहां मातोश्री केडीपी मल्टी स्पेशलिस्ट हॉस्पिटल का शुभारंभ हुआ है ये हॉस्पिटल सौराष्ट्र में स्वास्थ्य सेवाओं को और बेहतर बनाने में मदद करेगा जब सरकार के प्रयास में जनता का प्रयास जुड़ जाता है तो सेवा करने की हमारी शक्ति भी अनेक गुना बढ़ जाती है राजकोट में बना यह आधुनिक अस्पताल एक इसका बहुत बड़ा उत्तम उदाहरण है मिस्टर मोदी सेड द गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग एवरीथिंग टू प्रोवाइड 100% परसेंट फैसिलिटीज टू पीपल विदाउट एनी डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ही विजिटेड द हॉस्पिटल एंड इंस्पेक्टेड वेरियस हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज गुजरात चीफ मिनिस्टर भूपेन्द्र पटेल ऑल्सो एड्रेस द फंक्शन Union ministers Dr Mansukh Mandavia, Prashottam Rupala, Dr Mahendra Munjpara, Member of Parliament and State BJP President C R Patel, former Governor of Karnataka Vajubhai Wala and senior ministers of the state government were also present on the occasion. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts in the Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio at 11 a.m. tomorrow. It will be the 89th episode of the monthly radio program. The program will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and Doordarshan AIR news website and news on AIR mobile app. It will also be live streamed on the YouTube channels of AIR News, DD News, PMO and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. President Ramnath Kovin has called upon citizens to adopt routine ethics and food according to nature in daily life. He said the more we stay in touch with nature the healthier we will be the president was speaking on the topic one nation one health the need of the hour in the arogya manthan program organized by arogya bharati in bhopal today referring to the usefulness of traditional medicine mr kovin said that these systems of medicine are being adopted globally 
Talking about the increasing medical tourism in the country, Mr. Kovind said that one cannot find cheaper treatment anywhere in the world than in India. विदेशों में बहुत से लोग भारत में इलाज करवाने आते हैं क्योंकि भारत में इलाज सस्ता है यूरोपीय कंट्रीज की तुलना में बहुत सस्ता है इसीलिए इंडिया को कभी कभी मेडिकल टूरिस्ट हब भी कहा जाता है यदि देश में चिकित्सा सुविधाएं बढ़ेंगी और उन्नत चिकित्सा केंद्र खुलेंगे तो देश के लोगों को तो लाभ होगा ही मेडिकल टूरिज्म के बढ़ने से विदेशी मुद्रा की आमद भी और बढ़ेगी The president also inaugurated and performed bhumi poojan for new health institutions worth about 400 crore rupees in Bhopal. Madhya Pradesh governor Mangu Bhai Patel and chief minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan also addressed the program. Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari today dedicated to the nation 20 Amrit Sarovars in Akola in Maharashtra. Mr Gadkari said this model of Amrit Sarovar should be replicated in all drought affected areas and agricultural universities of the country. A total of 71 agricultural universities across the country can be benefited by this. 20 fully prepared reservoirs have been declared as part of Amrit Sarovar Abhiyan today. It has been decided to rejuvenate and develop about 50,000 Amrit Sarovars across the country by August 15, 2023 under the Amrit Sarovar Abhiyan announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In this context, at least 75 Amrit Sarovars will be rejuvenated in each district. speaking on the occasion mr gadkari said after the successful use of buldhana pattern in maharashtra more than 500 water bodies and 270 farm ponds have been rejuvenated by 2022 under amrit sarovar abhiyan as a result of this additional water storage capacity of 34000 tcm has been created at no cost in the state He called upon all the ministers of the state and the country to visit these Amrit Sarovar projects of Punjab Rao Deshmukh University and try to create such projects in their areas. Union Minister for Sports and Youth Affairs Anurag Thakur has said that in the last 8 years the central government has provided basic facilities in the field of sports in the country. He said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is credited with convincing the world of the importance of yoga which is now being spread globally. He was speaking after inaugurating the Khashaba Jadhav Sports Complex in the premises of Savitri Bai Phule Pune University in Pune today. He said budget allocation for Khelo India has been increased from 657 crore rupees last year to 974 crore rupees. At present there are 450 Khelo India centers in the country. The minister said with contributions from the states if 1000 such centers are built it will greatly contribute to development of sports. Mr Thakur announced that renowned former players will be given 5 lakh rupees to run such centers that will impart training to the budding talents. Mr Thakur also unveiled a full-sized statue of Olympian wrestler Khashaba Jadhav and Swami Vivekanand at the Pune University. He said that every university in the country can play a big role in the promotion of sports activities by creating a sports campus and providing training to athletes. और मुझे खुशी इस बात की है कि अगर हर यूनिवर्सिटी इतना सुंदर अपना कैंपस बनाना शुरू करे खिलाड़ियों की ट्रेनिंग करे तो जिस तरह से विश्व भर के देशों में यूनिवर्सिटीज का भी एक बहुत बड़ा योगदान होता है मेडल जीतने के लिए देश के लिए हमारे देश में भी विश्वविद्यालय बहुत बड़ी भूमिका निभा सकते हैं हाल ही में खेलो इंडिया यूनिवर्सिटी गेम्स में बहुत सारी यूनिवर्सिटीज ने भाग लिया और लगभग सात हजार से ज्यादा खिलाड़ी और ऑफिशियल्स ने उसमें भाग लिया है उसमें सावित्री बाई फुले यूनिवर्सिटी के खिलाड़ी भी थे जिन्होंने शानदार प्रदर्शन किया During another function interacting with the students of National Service Scheme of Savitri Bai Phule Pune University in Pune today Mr Thakur said that the contribution of the National Service Scheme is important in the development of the country and students need to nurture the core of social service and carry the spirit of social service forward in life the students expressed their ideas as to how the center schemes could be extended to the lower strata of the society through the National Service Scheme Prime Minister Narendra Modi will interact with orphan children across the country through video conferencing on 30th May under the PM Cares scheme. The PM Cares scheme has proved to be a boon for the children who lost their parents in the COVID pandemic. One of the beneficiaries of this scheme, Simran Fulzile from Nagpur district of Maharashtra while speaking to AIR said she benefited a lot through the PM Cares fund. 
Minister of External Affairs Dr. S. Jay Shankar asserted that India firmly stands with its citizens staying abroad whenever they need help. He said it gives them a tremendous confidence during any crisis. Interacting with the students and staff of IIT Guwahati today, the Union Minister said that the world has witnessed this during the COVID situation and Russia-Ukraine war when India evacuated its citizens. Dr. Jay Shankar said that diplomacy is the first line of defense and every society needs to be secured. He also reminded that peace and stability was brought to the Northeast region with the help of, help of diplomacy. On the issue of immigration from Myanmar to Mizoram, he mentioned that efforts are being made by New Delhi to solve the root cause of the problem. He further said that India is capable of protecting its interest without being selfish. On the occasion, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma said that IIT Guwahati has made remarkable progress in the field of research during COVID period. You are listening to the Evening News on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addresses seminar of leaders of various cooperative institutions in Gandhinagar. Says solution to most of our problems is self-reliance and a great model of self-reliance is cooperatives. Nano Urea Liquid plant of IFCO at Kalol in Gujarat inaugurated by Prime Minister. 89th episode of monthly radio program Monkey Bath to be aired on All India Radio tomorrow. Prime Minister to share his thoughts with Indians all over the world. President Ramnath Kovin calls upon citizens to stay in touch with nature to stay healthier. Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari dedicates 20 Amrit Sarovars to the nation in Akola in Maharashtra. Sports Minister Anurag Thakur says, Prime Minister Modi has convinced the world of the importance of yoga, which is now a global phenomenon. India gives tremendous confidence to its citizens who are staying abroad during any crisis, says External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar. Nation remembers great nationalist and freedom fighter Vinayak Damodar Savarkar on his birth anniversary. Narcotics Control Bureau busts major pan-India heroin trafficking network, seizes 34.89 kilograms of heroin and arrests eight drug peddlers along with a Nigerian drug lord. India's foremost documentary film festival, MIF 2022, begins tomorrow in Mumbai. In Asia Cup hockey tournament, India beat Japan 2-1 in their first match of Super 4 stage in Indonesia. Indian tennis star Rohan Bopanna and his Dutch partner Mathway Middelkoop storm into quarterfinals of the French Open men's doubles. And in IPL, Rajasthan Royals to face debutants Gujarat Titans in Summit Clash at Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad tomorrow evening. For quick news updates down the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at the rate AIR News Alerts. Cinema Premi Ho Jao Tayyar Aya Hai Filmo Ka Tiyohar 29 May Se 4 June Tak Lagatat Sapno Ka Shahar Laya Aap Ke Liye Uphar देखिए मुंबई इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल ऑनलाइन भी ऑफलाइन भी पंजीकरण कराएं www.miff.in पर अपने बिजनेस को बढ़ाने के लिए लीजिए आकाशवाणी का सहयोग और दीजिए उसे बुलंदियों के पंख आपका बिजनेस लोकल है या राष्ट्रीय आकाशवाणी देती है उपभोक्ताओं तक पहुंचने का हर विकल्प और अब तो आप घर दफ्तर या दुकान पर बैठे बैठे कर सकते हैं आकाशवाणी के किसी भी केंद्र के लिए विज्ञापनों की बुकिंग आकाशवाणी के विभिन्न चैनलों पर विज्ञापन देना सुलभ और सस्ता बुकिंग है तो संपर्क करें आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो पर आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो All India Radio News has launched a new weekly interactive program, Abhyas, for competitive examinations. It is aimed at reaching out to students and job seekers preparing for competitive exams. The program is in Hindi and is broadcast every Saturday between 9.30 and 10 p.m. Every week a subject is chosen. Students can ask questions through WhatsApp or email and a guest speaker or expert responds to their queries. Questions on each subject are selected on the basis of crowdsourcing from students across the country. The program also includes segments like explainer, fact file, examination calendar and question of the week. The ninth episode of the program will be aired today. The topic for this episode is Indian Polity Center State Relations. All India Radio News got an overwhelming response for the show with questions received from across the country. 
Professor Narendra Kumar from Centre for Political Studies, School of Social Sciences in Jawaharlal Nehru University will be responding to the queries of the aspirants. The program will be on air on 100.1 FM Gold at 9.30 tonight. You can access it on Twitter at AIR News Alert or on AIR News Official YouTube channel and also on the News on AIR app. Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tributes to great revolutionary leader and social reformer Veer Savarkar on his birth anniversary. The Prime Minister shared a video message on Twitter on the occasion. Home Minister Amit Shah also paid tributes to Veer Savarkar. In a series of tweets, Mr. Shah said, Savarkar was the epitome of sacrifice and tenacity. He said Veer Savarkar was given two terms of life imprisonment, but the inhuman tortures in a dungeon could not deter his, his resolve to return the ultimate glory of Mahabharati. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla paid floral tributes at the portrait of Vinayak Damodar Savarkar in the Central Hall of Parliament House. On the occasion, books on the life of Veer Savarkar were displayed in the Central Hall. A booklet containing the profile of Savarkar, brought out in Hindi and English by the Lok Sabha Secretariat, was presented to the dignitaries. Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs and Culture, Arjun Ram Meghwal, Chairman of Standing Committee of External Affairs, P.P. P. Chaudhary, along with the present and former members of Parliament, also paid floral tributes as the portrait of Veer Savarkar. The Narcotics Control Bureau has busted a major heroin trafficking network operating Pan India and seized 34.89 kilograms of heroin and recovered 5.8 lakh rupees. Eight drug peddlers have been arrested along with a Nigerian drug lord of the syndicate operating from New Delhi. Three African women were also apprehended. Unearthing of this major pan-India heroin trafficking network was masterminded by the operations branch of headquarters and well-coordinated by the Bengaluru, Indore and Delhi zonal units of the NCB. In the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir, two terrorists were killed by security forces in an encounter at Shitipura village in Bijbehara, an area of South Kashmir's Anantnag district this evening. The slain terrorists were associated with the prescribed Hezbollah Mujahideen terror outfit. Inspector General of Police Kashmir, Vijay Kumar, said that the duo were involved in several terror crimes. Incriminating materials, including arms and ammunition, have been recovered from the possession of the slain terrorists. Over 193 crore 13 lakh COVID vaccine doses have been administered in the country so far under the nationwide vaccination drive. The Union Health Ministry said over 14 lakh 39,000 vaccine doses were administered yesterday. A total of 2,685 new COVID cases were recorded in the last 24 hours. The recovery rate is currently at 98.75%. India's foremost documentary film festival, MIF 2022, will begin tomorrow in Mumbai. The film's division complex, which also houses the National Museum of Indian Cinema, is fully geared up to host the 17th Mumbai International Film Festival for documentary, short fiction and animation films. The opening ceremony of the week-long biennial Mumbai International Film Festival will take place at the Nehru Centre, Worli, while all the screenings will happen in the Films Division Complex, which has state-of-the-art auditoriums. More from our Mumbai correspondent. MIF 2022 has got an overwhelming response from filmmakers across the world, receiving a whooping 808 film entries from 30 countries. Out of these, 102 films will be screened under the competition category 35 in international competition and 67 in national competition. 18 films will be screened under MIF Prism category. The best film of the festival will receive the Golden Conch Award along with a cash prize of Rs 10 lakhs. Other awards carry cash awards varying from 5 to 1 lakh along with silver conch trophy and certificate. In commemoration of Bangladesh 50 years of independence, the country has been chosen as the country of focus this year. The first animation film co-produced by India and Japan, Ramayana, The Legend of Prince Rama, will also have its special screening at May. Bhavna Gokhale, All India Radio, Mumbai. Indian men's hockey team defeated Japan 2-1 in its opening match of the Super 4 stage of Asia Cup in Jakarta, Indonesia this evening. Defending champions India lost to the Japanese side 5-2 in the group stage earlier in the tournament, but today they put up a brilliant performance to come out tops. 
Virendra Lakhara led Indian sides, took the lead in the first quarter itself when Manjeet Singh scored a field goal in the seventh minute of the match. However, Japan equalized early into the second quarter as Niwa Takuma successfully converted a penalty corner in the 17th minute. Pawan Rajbhar restored India's lead in the third quarter via another field goal in the 34th minute and the men in blue managed to run down the clock to finish with a 2-1 win. Indian tennis star Rohan Bopanna and his Dutch partner Matthew Middlecoop produced some top-class tennis to outclass the reigning Olympic champion, champions second-seeded Nikola Mektic and Mathe Pavic to enter the quarter-finals of the French Open 2022 in men's doubles. Playing an absolute thriller against the former world number one Croatian pair, Rohan Bapanna and Matve Middlekoop displayed sheer nerves to win the match 6-7, 7-6, In IPL cricket, Rajasthan Royals will face debutants Gujarat Titans in the summit clash at Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad tomorrow. Rajasthan Royals stormed into the final with a seven-wicket win over Royal Challengers Bangalore in the qualifier two at the same venue last night. Today is World Menstrual Hygiene Day. It is observed to create awareness about menstruation, provide safe and hygienic practices to girls and burst the bubble of taboo. Menstruation is still a taboo in many parts of the world. While it's a natural phenomenon which every girl experiences after puberty, this has not been addressed as normal yet. This year the theme for World Menstrual Hygiene Day is Making Menstruation a Normal Fact of Life by 2030. Now let us have a look at the weather forecast for tomorrow. The national capital Delhi will have a partly cloudy sky. Temperature will hover between 27 and 41 degrees Celsius. Mumbai will have a partly cloudy sky. In Chennai, rain or thunder showers would occur towards evening or night. Kolkata will have a partly cloudy sky with possibility of moderate rain or thunderstorm. Srinagar and Jammu will have a partly cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm or dust storm. Leh and Gilgit will have a generally cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm or dust storm. Muzaffarabad will have a partly cloudy sky becoming generally cloudy towards afternoon or evening or night. Vishakhapatnam will have a partly cloudy sky. Hyderabad will have a partly cloudy sky with possibility of rain or thunderstorm or dust storm. Bengaluru will have a partly cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. Tiruvananthapuram will have a generally cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. Guwahati will have a partly cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. Imphal will have a generally cloudy sky with light rain. Shillong, Itanagar, Aizol and Kohima will have a generally cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. Gangtok will have a generally cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. And finally, Agartala will have a generally cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addresses seminar of leaders of various cooperative institutions in Gandhinagar, says solution to most of our problems is self-reliance and a great model of self-reliance is cooperatives. Nano urea liquid plant of IFCO at Kalol in Gujarat inaugurated by Prime Minister. 89th episode of monthly radio program Man Ki Baat to be aired on All India Radio tomorrow. Prime Minister to share his thoughts with Indians all over the world. President Ramnath Kovind calls upon citizens to stay in touch with nature to stay healthier. Roads, Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari dedicates 20 Amrit Sarovars to the nation in Akola in Maharashtra. Sports Minister Anurag Thakur says Prime Minister Modi has convinced the world of the importance of yoga, which is now a global phenomenon. India gives tremendous confidence to its citizens who are staying abroad during any crisis, says External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar. Nation remembers great nationalist and freedom fighter Vinayak Damodar Savarkar on his birth anniversary. Narcotics Control Bureau busts major pan-India heroin trafficking network, seizes 34.89 kilograms of heroin and arrests eight drug peddlers along with a Nigerian drug lord. India's Foremost documentary film festival, MIF 2022, begins tomorrow in Mumbai. In Asia Cup Hockey Tournament, India beat Japan 2-1 in their first match of Super 4 stage in Indonesia. And Indian tennis star Rohan Bapanna and his Dutch partner Matve Middelkop storm into quarterfinals of French Open men's doubles and an IPL Rajasthan Royals to face debutant Gujarat Titans in Summit Clash at Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad tomorrow evening. And with that... We end the evening news. Good night.